direct dynamic consists in solving my equations of motion with respect to the independent accelerations, knowing the system, of course, and knowing the forces acting on it. For time integration, as already mentioned, it is really useful to transform this second order differential equation into a first order system using the following variable substitution. in terms of the position, velocity and acceleration of my system. The following flow sheet diagram summarizes the process. Starting from initial position and velocities of my system or from position and velocities of the previous time step, the multibody model can be computed and solved with respect to the independent acceleration. Then by gathering these two variables into the y dot vector, this one can be time integrated using, for instance, a Runge-Kutta technique into the y vector. And then the loop is closed. This allows you to obtain any kind of transient motion such as that of a car, as shown in this video, made from a multibody time integration.